Hi, my name is Eric Andre. And I feel moist about being Conan O'Brien's friend. Fantastic. Fantastic. Sopping. Yeah. Now, to be fair, it's quite humid in New York City. That ain't right what now. I'm talking about, brother. <laughs> Don't you dare backpedal. Oh, I backpedaled out of that one fast. Don't you. I'm still going to chalk it up to weather conditions and not whatever my you Whatever helps you sleep at night. <laughs> not my sexual charisma. <laughs> oh, baby you know, boy. You, you came, you launched into this room full of pep and energy, and you are jacked. You're in good Dude, shape. I got, You're in great shape. I'm not shape. in great shape, but I, I'll take it. You are. No, I've been I've been drinking a little bit. Okay. When I drink, I get a little pudgy. A little when pudgy. I don't drink, shh, slim up. You slim up real good. But I had my fortieth birthday party, mm -hmm. and a month ago, <laughs> and it lasted. And, for a month. and yeah, and I just you went crazy. I like cocktails. What yeah. can I say? What's your favorite cocktail? What do you like? All of them. Um, I don't know. It's kind of like what's your favorite album? It's an unfair question. And You're right. I'm, it's a, it's, I'm insulted that you would ask such a thing. No, I like a rum old fashioned. I like rum. I love rum. I like rum. rum a lot. I love rum. Uh, you got a pirate kind of vibe to you. I do have a pirate vibe. And when I'm on rum, I just sprout an eye patch and a pirate. And I just, <laughs> it just grows out of me. And I, God, I love rum. Yeah, it's fun. And then I like it's, to fight know, people. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, a lot of rum. Uh, history started in Massachusetts. Massachusetts was a huge rum producer back in the day. Back in the day. So you got it in your veins, brother. I Are you from Massachusetts? Well, originally from Ireland, but then we <laughs> hung out in Massachusetts for a while before You they... weren't born in Ireland. No, but it's so funny. You're from Boston, aren't you? Yeah, I am from Boston, but it's so funny because my name's Conan O'Brien and I look the way they do. So many people think, Ah, so you're from Dublin, and I'm like, no, I grew up in I grew up in Massachusetts, but uh, you were born in Ireland. No, 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 I was born in Massachusetts. Why did you lie to me? I didn't. What did I say? Did I lie? <laughs> did, I don't think said, I did. I'm he said I'm a judge. He goes, I'm fr I'm I started in Ireland and then I moved to no. Massachusetts. You did. Thank you. You did say I started in Ireland. Yes. and then we came it, over to. It was very strange. That's weird. I subconsciously lied to you. <laughs> uh... I, why did I do that? You're strange, man. You're drunk on rum. <laughs> well, I'm going to say right now, this is a Coke Zero. <laughs> it's got nothing in it. No, I started out in Lebanon. Then <laughs> it was off to Ireland for my dreams to come true. Then I made my way to Boston because I heard that was the show business capital of the world. Oh, yeah. Turns out that was a mistake. Oh, right under the sicko stein. That's where everybody- <laughs> It all happens. That's where it all happens. That's it's, where they film Goodfellas and Godfather. All good movies start right underneath the sitco right sign. Right under the sitco sign. to Fenway Park. That's right. Okay, I'm going to make sense of this because we have things to talk about. Tell me everything. We can't, we can't be screwing around. This no. is a serious interview. I, do you feel distracted? Am I creating a distraction? I think environment. you should. I think you should go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I want to continue my interview with Eric Andre without Eric Andre because you're, uh, you're yeah, your distraction. I'm sorry. You're getting in the way of my interview with you. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, you're. I, I love you. You're a great. I love you too. You're man. a very funny man. You're a very so creative man. man. You're a force for good. Thank and, you. Uh, I'm. So I was very excited. That I'd be seeing you today. I think the last That's time we talked, flattering. it was over Zoom, and then today you come bursting in the door. Yeah, we hugged. Yeah, we kissed. I, I felt we kissed for quite a long time. You became moist. <laughs> I felt your musculature. <laughs> then we fought for a bit, which surprised oh, me. It didn't surprise me. It, su it shocked me. You took the first swing. <laughs> I came right. I blocked it. Came right back. It was, <laughs> and then I was doing major uh, kickboxing on you. You were shocked. Remember? I did Taibo. I you did, did Taibo on you, which isn't a good defense. No, it's a very good exercise. <laughs> Great exercise, not a good. You weren't even facing martial me art. as you did Taibo. I know, <laughs> and it made me easy to hit. I just was hitting you with a chair, and you pummeling were... <laughs> me. <laughs> I'm bleeding out. And then you started doing squats as yeah. I punched you in the face. Yeah. I don't know. I don't understand any of it, but yeah. uh, and now no, we're here. very, very, very happy to have you here and so glad that your show is you got a new season of the show coming yeah. out which people absolutely adore you've got great people on the show this year you, you always get terrific guests you always get great people to play along but who's who we got this it's like john ham i don't remember oh john ham yeah little nas x yeah good L friend of mine Lil yachty a lot of lils yeah a lot of little <laughs> porn star mia khalifa who you're gonna pretend you don't know any of her work conan Oh my God! Please. This morning I did a nine-hour deep dive <laughs> on her work. 
she enunciates the dialogue very well. <laughs> That's what she's that. known for. <laughs> Her diction is perfect. Uh, I, I am the contaminator. I didn't notice anything else. Uh, <laughs> Um, but you know, uh, you've got a, you've got this great trajectory, which is you made this show up completely. It's like sheer force of will. You pretty much made it all happen yourself in yeah. a lot of ways, right? At the beginning, this was a yeah. homegrown project. Yeah, it was a junkyard show. It was you, and you were like, when you put together your show, you were living on couches. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where? I was like sleeping outside. I would sleep in like little parks because I was too afraid to sleep in Central Park. So I'd sleep in like St. Vartan's Park in Murray Hill. And like I would pick little, and I had toothbrushes all around town. And like I would hit, you had two, two toothbrushes hidden in the park? Yeah, I had toothbrushes <laughs> hidden in the park. Well, I think it was Third Rock from the pond to the left. Here it is Oral B. <laughs> With Sensodyne. <laughs> I would like, I would do stand up at night. I would do open mics and I would ask the audience if I could sleep over and sleep on their couches. And you meant it. And I meant it. Mm -hmm. I meant it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And so you start putting the show together and then. Um, it, did, did it heat up in here or am I excited? What do you mean? Don't you feel like it's hotter than when we started? Yeah, that's your body heat. You think it's just <laughs> you're glowing. I'm, you are glowing. I'm pregnant. There's an there's an omelet cooking on your shoulder. It got you, hotter. Didn't I think it? it got hotter because I don't mean to flatter myself, but I think you saw me. I did, and I think you thought, "Shit, I'm sitting with that Conan O'Brien." That's right. I didn't realize. That's right. And you had to up your game. I looked into those Lebanese eyes, and I knew. <laughs> Lebanese Irish eyes, <laughs> and you knew you had to take it up a notch. That's you know? right. 